Here we are. Welcome to my Microsoft Teams classroom. Before I get to the tutorial of how to use the program and get you set up with everything that you need, I just have a couple of quick announcements. Number one, first and foremost, uh, priority number one is you and your health and the health of your families. Please note that while we're moving to this platform, I want you to take care of yourselves as we're moving into this really uh, interesting new phase uh, of school closure. Number two, please note that this is not officially starting until next week. So this classroom is only officially getting underway uh, as of the week of April the 6th. And I'm going to hope that you can check in as often as you can. Ideally, you get a chance to check in daily to look for updates. Um, and I'll try to keep this stuff as up to date as I possibly can. Keep in mind, too, I'm going to be a busy guy, going to be parenting as well. So I'll do my best if you do your best. All right, we got each other. Uh, announcement number three is that uh, there should be a survey, if you haven't already filled it out, uh, looking at your access to technology and to high-speed internet. Please make sure to fill in that survey as soon as you can. And I'm really going to encourage you to reach out to me as soon as possible if you have any difficulty uh, getting access to the technology you're going to need to do e-learning in the coming weeks. Uh, the TDSB is working really hard to make sure that everybody gets set up with exactly the technology that they need uh, to be able to access and use these resources. Uh, with that in mind, looks like the whole world is out of webcam, so I'm stuck using this low quality thing. Sorry, I got another one in the mail. Hopefully the quality of my videos will go up uh, when that arrives. For the time being, doesn't matter because look, I'm so small and in the corner, looking good. Um, when you go to Microsoft Office, uh, your landing page, uh, after you log in with your TDSB credentials, it's going to look something like this. You're going to go all the way over here to the Teams app, and you can either access it directly from a web browser, as you see me doing right here, uh, or you can download the app directly to your desktop, which you can see I've got open uh, right down here. Uh, last way that you can access it is you can also download this app to the phone. I recommend having the phone app as well because you can also set it up to have notifications on there in case anything gets posted that you might be interested in seeing. So I'm going to work from the desktop app now and your first landing page is going to be uh, right over here for all of the teams that you are a part of. Uh, our team uh, is going to be this one right here which is uh, a team that I've created uh, for my grade 12 biology class as an example for this tutorial today. So you click on your classroom and it's going to take you to the general channel. Uh, the channels on the side here are where I can organize all of the information for you in a nice, easy to find format. I'm going to try to set it up uh, so that I make my main announcements for the whole class on the general tab. And then I'll start to post individual lessons in separate channels so that you can find them and organize them really easily uh, just on that little side bar right over here. Uh, What's really important to note, so you can see I've got my first post here for the class in the general channel, is that while I'm going to put posts in this section over here, all of these tabs along the top are where I can really share a lot of cool stuff as well. So in the files tab, of course, I can share with you shared folders and files directly. The class notebook may or may not be using that for all of my classes. It's going to be a bit time consuming for me to set it up. Uh, I'll see if I can, but that's going to be a way for me to potentially distribute notes to you as well. But more importantly, through the class notebook, uh, you're able to submit work to me in PDF form, and I can use my iPad uh, to mark it up and give you feedback. Um, stay tuned, I may or may not be using that. Through the Teams app, I am able to give some basic assignments. I need to play around a bit more with this to see exactly how it works, and I'm able to grade them directly on the app as well. Looks like you can track your grades with this. I don't know how private that is, so may or may not continue to have that tab here. We'll see how that goes. I'll test it out in week one. And then what's really cool is that I can embed all kinds of other uh, stuff into Teams as well. So here I can put websites in. For example, uh, here's a Government of Canada website giving you updates on the COVID-19 situation. 
Uh, and as you can see, you know, the data at this point, uh, and today is uh, March 26th, um, actually got that wrong, today is March 29th, um, but you can see we're already starting to flatten that curve. So way to go, Canada. Let's keep that up and hopefully uh, if we continue to do this uh, social distancing thing, uh, maybe we can actually meet face to face again before the year is up. Fingers crossed. Of course, I've embedded my website, another great place to go. Uh, this is going to be way more organized, I think, than what I can do on Teams. I still recommend you come here regularly. Um, you'll find all your stuff there as always, uh, but now it's embedded directly in the Teams website too. Look at that brand new picture. Recognize the shirt. Uh, so I'm trying to keep this up to date. Uh, before April the 6th, you're welcome to check out the Ministry of Education's website uh, where they supposedly got some resources there. I had a quick peek. Uh, Great. Uh, they don't even have stuff posted for any of our courses directly. They've got some stuff for uh, grades 9 and 10 uh, applied. Uh, nothing for the academic, but it's more or less the same stuff anyways. Uh, nothing yet as far as I could see for 12 bio. Um, but, you know, click around and see what you got. The TDSB has put some resources out too. Uh, here are tabs that you might actually want to check out. So here we've got, uh, if you don't have your textbook with you or you want to use just the online version, uh, you can do that. Now, so far, Nelson has only released their, uh, the senior level uh, courses for us. We've got McGraw-Hill for the juniors. I'm working on getting those available for my grade nines and tens. But if you click here, it'll take you to the login screen for mynelson.com. And if you click right here on the channel on the side for textbooks, uh, here you can see the username and password that you can use to get you free access to any of those textbooks for the rest of the semester. Back to the general tab, a couple more things in here. The last one is our health and well-being page. Uh, this is going to be a challenge on so many levels. The TDSB uh, has put together a really great package of stuff that you should click on and browse around through uh, to help get you through this. Uh, we're going to really need to work together. Um, I'll take you to a couple of other quick places here. So a little introductory video. Look at me. I'm on YouTube now. Um, but more importantly, let's look at what an early lesson might look like. Here's an example lesson that I've started for my grade 12s. So here you can see I've made a post that describes what I'm going to expect you to do for the lesson. Uh, some suggested textbook work that you can do. And then I've also got linked in here in the file section under that particular channel. PowerPoint presentation for that lesson and a follow-up note. What I'm also uh, going to work on putting into the post over here is maybe a YouTube video, very much like the one you see now, where I can do a lecture and work you through that lesson with the PowerPoint maybe on the screen. Um, the notes section takes you to a Microsoft OneNote page. This will be for your individual notebook. This isn't shared with anyone else and you can type your own notes here maybe as you're reading the textbook jot your own notes or write down maybe questions that you have for me later up to you if you want to use that uh, or not uh, for any of these you can uh, post directly in here you can mention people if you want someone to see your direct post please be good about this don't abuse the system uh, if you want to reach me directly and privately in a way that everyone can't see you can go over here and click on chats and when you click on chats um, you can uh, click on this itty bitty little button here that says new chat and pick who you want to talk to. So if you want to talk to me, you would say david.climan. Oops, can you spell my own name? Didn't find matches because I'm looking for myself, but you'd find my email uh, in there and you can start a chat with me and we can uh, even video conference if need be. If you need to talk to somebody, I'm always there. Um, and beyond that, I think that is a decent uh, start. So I'll try to give you as many updates as I can moving forward. Guys, I can't wait to get back to it. Uh, and let's try to salvage what we can of this time while the school is closed. So tune in. Hey, click my channel. Subscribe. Okay, I'm not going to do that business. Great to see you. Hope to see you again soon. We got this, Forest Hill.